This is Michelle Chatterchick Lowe from Ace Plumbing Heating and Electrical Supplies. Join me and my co-host, Chuck Shazer, from 11 a.m. to 12 noon and every fourth Saturday of the month while we try to ace your space. We're going to share with you some helpful hints that will improve the quality of any room or project that you are currently working on. Also, we're going to have just a little bit of fun. Join me for Ace Your Space, coming to you from Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Ace Your Space. And now here's your host, Michelle Chatterchick Lowe. Yay! Love all that clapping. Happy Clapping Saturday. <laughs> That audience is getting a standing ovation right now. It, it must be. And it's a shame we're not there to see it this time again, huh? <laughs> I want to welcome everybody, and especially you, Chuck. To, ooh, I hear... <laughs> and, and to my little master, Shazer, over there. <laughs> this is the 29th hour of Asia Space, and I would like to welcome everyone who is listening. <laughs> Welcome, and, and this is a beautiful Saturday to uh, talk about Ace and what's going on in the uh, world. And I have not spoken to you, Chuck. How are you? I'm doing great, Michelle. It's, uh, the year is amazingly <laughs> marching onward, heading towards the end of the year. We have fall. We have It's getting darker earlier. Ah. It's cooler. It's a lot of stuff going on. There's so much going on, and, and, and it's crazy how Ace seems to slip in. Ace fits every little nook and cranny that's going on right now in life, including it does. the COVID. I mean, and Chuck, you're so right. What about, have you noticed how dark it's getting? Uh, um, I would say by 6.30. It seems yeah. to me that it's, uh, it's a little dark out there by 6.30. My wife is not a fan. And quite frankly, I'm not either because there's still a little bit of grass to cut. Things are slowing down in that respect. But. <laughs> You want to, it's nice to come home during a work week and get some of that stuff done, but now you're kind of like against the grind, you know? You are, because I, I imagine, you know, when you get home, it isn't until 6, 6.30, and it's dark out, so really you have to do everything inside, and, and you start getting a little lazier in the winter, you know? It's the weekend, you got to slam everything into the weekend. Sometimes it's not so easy. It's not so easy, and, and you know, it's, being that we're talking about the darkness, hey, you know, next week is the, is it fall back or fall forward, Chuck? Which is it? Well, it depends on... Depends on... <laughs> <laughs> depends I think somebody on, wants to join our show. <laughs> depends on if you're, uh, when you're walking, how, what direction you fall in. If you fall forward, you could hit your head. If you fall back, <laughs> you could hit your head, hurt your back. Now, usually it's fall back and then spring forward, so... Fall back, so everybody's going to yeah. get that extra hour. But being that it is fall back, I think that they're probably going to need some extra lighting this year um and it's, and and to tell you the truth the we, you and i do want to talk about the lighting for the outside and the landscaping but also maybe we'll touch upon the lighting on the inside because not only does it add to the decor and the value of the home but now what's going on in life you got to get those lights on for the mental health yeah. you know for people that are uh, quarantined still uh, uh they're stuck in a house in a day like today hey it's a little dull out there. And think about this. The real estate market's going crazy right now. So if you're putting your house on the market, you're thinking about it, let's say, right? Look at all the lighting. Let's say you want to you get maximized what you're going to get for your house. Everyone would want to do that, right? Absolutely. So if you have, like, dated decor, dated lighting, come to Ace Plumbing Heat Electrical Supplies, and you can check out all the awesome lighting, gorgeous lighting from, like, Hinkley, Sean Beck, Elk, Great brands at Ace, and it can really help. You'd be surprised. I mean, you know, Michelle, how huh. it changes the personality of a room. And the personality of the mindset because of the room, like you said. You know, it, it's crazy how you say, um, I'm, all, I'm always looking at real estate. You know, um, what's for sale, what's for sale. So here comes uh, 55 and older, uh, or not Trulia, and I'm looking, and there's, there's Why our you lights. looking at that? Well, because 55 and older is where I want to go, you know. Well, you're like 30. Well, you know, 35 and holding. <laughs> 35 and holding. My attitude might be in the 30s. But, you know, 
the birth certificate and the skin is saying that I'm 58. It's saying that. One of my favorite lights. It's actually one of my favorite lights. And I don't know the exact name of it. I should have asked you during the week. And it's that round crystal Sean Beck. It's just so beautiful. And I'm like, look at this. I go, if I buy this home, it's right in the dining room. It doesn't match my decor, but it was beautiful. I noticed it right away. I noticed it right away. So when they remodeled, what they did, was, in order for them, it's, it's funny how you brought this up, in order, uh, not in order for them to sell, but what this home did to sell is exactly what you're saying. All they did was change out lights and hardware. That was no, really, it. That's as simple as it can be. It all depends on what the situation is. I mean, <clears throat> even if you don't have a lot to spend, and a little bit can go a long way. Even if you change the light in one room, let's say you just choose the dining room. The dining room is one of the most important rooms to the family. Everybody gets together, hopefully, you know, and eats uh, together as much as they can anyway. Well, now they're getting together with you have your own personal table. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you know, there's your table, your table, your table. <laughs> they can really just dynamically change the interior of a home, and especially if you're gonna, getting ready to put your home on the market. My goodness, I mean, now is a perfect time to come into Ace and look at some of that lighting because you're going to change. Those people are going to walk into your house and see that lighting and, and be wowed just from the lighting. And, pieces, so. and if you bring in pictures of your decor, you know, they're, they're, we have such great designers there. By the way, maybe we should mention that. It is by appointment only right now. Yeah, you know um, what? I'm, Michelle, I'm glad you brought that up. Oh, thank you, Chuck. <laughs> we have, <laughs> we have uh, two of them. Of course, 667 South Delsey Drive in Vineland uh, is the one that we have here. And if you'd like to call and make an appointment, that's 856-692-9374. And because of COVID, we're doing that, of course, uh, and plus, it gives you a little personal one-on-one time um, with your designer when you come into Ace. And, of course, that service is free. Uh, we don't charge you for using our uh, showroom staff to plan things, of course. That's one of the benefits of shopping at Ace, by the way. You get to do that. So, again, that number for Vineland is 856-692-9374. You want to shop there. And if you're towards the shore, we are in Summers Point, of course. You can call Summers Point. At 609-646-2900. That's 609-646-2900 if you want to shop in Summers Point. Summers Point oh. uh, is an awesome showroom as well. It is. I mean, you know, Violin is 6,000 square feet showroom. We're just talking showroom. Yes. And I'm, I'm just curious. I think, I think um, Summers Point is about, what, 2,500? I think it's about that. It's smaller, but it's no. It's less so than quaint, that. though. It's so it's it's perfect to me. <laughs> I love it. New I, road. It's new road. Yeah, it's right there. It's, it's. I was trying to tell one of our colleagues, believe it or not. I go well. It's when you come off the the parkway. I have no idea what I'm talking about. You know this, right? You're get them lost. I said uh, I don't know. I said when I come the back way, I go to make my turn <laughs> into our showroom. When I go to make that right, I almost get hit. Me, because it's me driving. I said, so you better not go the way that I go. <laughs> you better just Google it or call the violence store, and they're going to get you there a little bit better than the way Michelle seems to make it. In. They're like, well, it's the Dairy Queen, right? And I'm like, yeah. No, it's not the Dairy Queen. You know, there is a fantastic custard stand right now. Yeah, but the guy, he's got great custard. In fact, when we did the grand opening, he, uh, he actually gave us, he gave our customers, everybody got an ice cream cone that day. Remember Bob Rosner or uh, Oh yeah. Oh, with the ice cream cone. Was yeah. it that day? My favorite picture. Yeah, he that looked, was the grand opening of Summer's Point. The movie star. That was the movie star. He was bringing an ice cream to Mr. Rosner was bringing an ice cream to his wife, and I never let him. I just never let it go, did I? Till till the day he retired, I rode that poor man. I'm like, Bob, that's a great picture. You should put it in a frame, you know, get, was, give it to your wife. <laughs> that was Bob Rosner's Fabio shot, I'm going to call it. It was a Fabio shot. The hair was blowing. He had yes. the black glass, got the ice cream, bringing it to his wife. It was a Hallmark. It was definitely a Hallmark movie introduction <laughs> with Mr. Bob Rosner, who would have nothing to do with anything like that in life because it has nothing to do with make a uh, solution. There's no solution. He's a solution man. <laughs> we miss we miss Mr. Roz. Oh yeah. He's staying in touch with him. You know, he likes to know what's going on in our department and I'm sure. Has he been in has he well I guess not with COVID. I was gonna say has he been in town? 
but uh, I guess not. In the summer, and he did not stay very long. Of course, he had the gloves, mask on. It was really sad because we all wanted to see him. You know, it would be nice to give him a hug and just really get to, get to talk to him about everything, but it was so brief. And, um, you know, we had, of course, the time, and I don't know if this is still going on, but, you know, if you were coming from Florida, you had a quarantine for a couple of weeks. That's true. You got here in Jersey, so I'm not sure. I think at that point he had a quarantine. Plus, they're back um, there now. Winter's coming. Everybody went back to Florida that could get there. They're like, he had to come to Jersey, quarantine for two weeks, then he came to see us. And then he had to leave. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, because your time's done, because you did your two-week quarantine. There's your vacation. <laughs> it's yeah, ridiculous. You know, doing what we have to do to stop the spread of this thing. And well, I want to bring up, I saw one of our customers. Um, I was trying to, you know, it, it's, been a, it's been a difficult uh, COVID situation uh, mentally for me, in a sense. Um, I had lost my companion, my best friend, in February. So now here it is. All these little things happen in life where you're like, oh, you know, if he was here, I need air in the tires. I've needed air in the tires maybe three weeks. Oh, I'm finally going to do it. I'm at Wawa. I've got my mask on outside. Here comes one of our favorite plumbers, um, kind of friendly with John Sparator, and he's like this, why are you wearing that mask? You better go get the mask that you sell at Ace, the K and like he's selling me. He's selling me our mask, right? Or the K N ninety five. He said, "Get the." He goes, "Don't use what you're using because the germs, Michelle. The germs could get the K N ninety five." Well, they were they were the masks recommended, and they're still recommended, and we have them at Ace and uh, Ace Plumbing, Heat, and Electrical Supplies. Not to be confused with the other Ace, but uh, <laughs> yeah, not to be confused. This you is know, Ace that's why I Supplies. It's a short way because uh, some people might get confused with that, which I understand. I know. I wish I. I always try and think of it. How can I shorten? Shorten, but I can't because I feel like I'm taken away. I keep well, saying Ace Co. You know, John's Ace Co. His uh, his production of Ace Co. To me, everything falls under Ace Co. Because it's an Ace Company. You know, like I feel like the show falls under Ace Co. The Ace Company, but it is Ace say, Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies. It is. It's the whole thing. So, I mean, some people say Ace Plumbing Supply just to shorten it up. But plumbing is just it's one of the many things we have, other you know, HVAC equipment and supplies, lighting, you got all the showroom products. And I'll tell you, I want to... I mean, my goodness. You know, maybe the ADD, because I haven't been on the air with you in so long. Last month when we did, when I did the show, I actually had a board of directors meeting with Habitat. Um, it was like a national meeting, and they did a great job. It was at Greenview. We, yeah. There was only 15 of us, and each one of us had our own table. So we were pretty much social distance, like, like it was phenomenal. You know? Well, I mean, I did. I went in. This was a great day. You ready? I go in. I had from, what is it, the 930 to 1030, maybe you have your little breakfast, you know? Well, it's time for me to do the show. Oh. So I go back. I do the show. Now it's time when I get done the show. I've got to come back out. It's time for lunch. <laughs> On the patio. <laughs> oh, oh, we're all done that. I had a little training time for me to go. <laughs> it was like, what a great Saturday. <laughs> Probably by, huh? You know, and I felt sorry for the people because I haven't been around people. So I'm like, da, 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 <laughs> talking away, you know. But it was all good. It was about Ace. And uh, we are definitely married into, uh, we have a great relationship with Habitat. And um, so I, it, it, all, it actually fit well. And I was able to give you the day off. You know, that. so that was so much to do when you're a dad and a husband, as you can imagine, and a homeowner, <laughs> and a business. You know, <laughs> and I got the side thing going on with Science Animated. So yeah, extremely busy to say the least. It's very, it's a huge understatement. Actually, I don't get much sleep. And the thing is, I I feel great for my age, Michelle. But <laughs> one thing I noticed is I stay up late to work on my side business. Right, that's the only time I really have. And I mean, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, crazy stuff. And I remember that very well. Yeah, so I, I'll tell you what, that's when I feel my age is when I do that, because the next day it's like, oh, my gosh, you feel like you got hit by a truck. <laughs> Are you saying, Chuck, that the days of maybe you catching four hours, waking up, feeling like, hey, like, vitality, ready to take, those days might be gone a little bit? You might need six hours well, instead of four? Let's just say I have to have my, uh, my caffeinated coffee. <laughs> 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 make that work. Welcome to the uh, early age of 40s. Wait till you get to the mid-50s. Oh, oh, well, you know. That's why you got to keep working out, keep training, keep, keep doing all that stuff, you know. That's right. And then you'll keep a light on the subject because you love lights for me. So you could just keep a, get that light out there on the subject for you, you know. Hey, you know what? Speaking of lights and speaking of my, my gym, I, uh, 
I bought LED bulbs for Mace. Oh my gosh! I'm just I I just moved yeah. my paper and I looked LED bulbs because I wanted to talk about. That. I cannot believe you just brought that up. Well, in my gym, it was a little dark, right? And I had the, the regular bulbs. I bought a bunch of them a while ago, like the, the, the older ones. Um, and it's, they got like a yellow tint to them. That's just yes. what the old lighting is. Your eyes get used to it. Your brain gets used to that as just simply light because it's all you're seeing. But once you put one of these LED bulbs and you have that brilliant white light, it's like a pure white light. It's like the light from our burning star in our solar system, the sun. It is just pure white light and i put those bulbs in and i bought it ace and it just illuminated my gym so much it was so much better because you got daylight time it, 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 does it say daylight on it i always buy daylight the well they, yeah that would be the it would be the white light absolutely i buy the daylight there's two of them i can't remember there's daylight and another one that's well, and it does have the warming in it the, and a lot of people warming, do yes. Uh, what is it people called? Are, well, people are used to that warming color. like that The warming, color. even though it's a daylight color, you know, it's for daytime in a sense. Or they, they I have daylight bulbs in my bathroom as well mm -hmm. because I kept saying, oh, I can't see, I can't see. Well, I am finding out that at my age, I might have a little cataract going on. Check this out. Oh so maybe that was all part of it, too, you know what I mean? In saying that, I like the LEDs, and you're right. We do have, we have them right there. You don't have to go shopping for oh, them. They're right there. Very inexpensive, I mean. And well, the lifespan, Chuck. How about the lifespan? Oh, the lifespan's crazy. And, and by the way, the, the reason you'll have those different color uh, lights, like, like uh, that yellowish tint to some of the LEDs, they'll mimic the old-style bulb, because let's say you have some of the old-style bulbs still. Let's say you want the colors... I know this sounds kind of crazy, but it's true. Let's say you want the color tones to match in your room. Let's say you have a lamp that has an older bulb in it. It's right. Like yellow light. And let's say the next room, it's, it's maybe an open floor concept, and the next room you have, right, that's right there, you have the LED, and it's white. You can see the difference. Um, so some uh, people might want to match and then get those LEDs that have that color filter. I would think they would want to match, but that's me. Now, it's funny because I've had this discussion with my family, particularly with my mother, and she's like, oh, I don't like the bright white ones. I don't like them that bright. Yeah, see, and some people don't. She really doesn't, and, and I really do. Like, I feel that I see so much better. Now, when we're doing our live Internet videos and all that, I don't like it that much, you know what I mean? But it's essential, though. It's, it's, it's essential, and, and you do see detail. What a difference on the uh, LED bright light compared to just your regular bulb way back in the day, GE nothing, mm -hmm. and, right? Uh, that wasn't nice to say it like that either, GE oh. nothing. But compared to what we have now in life. Yeah, I mean, I, I had the old school video lighting. Um, when, I, when I create my videos, the old school lighting, the old school bulbs, right? With the, some with the like, curve, with the uh, spiral? Yeah, the sp some of them are like fluorescence, yeah. And then I use LEDs now. If you watch my latest um, podcast, the S Factor that I turn into the podcast, and I shoot myself like uh, doing the video. I record myself doing the show, so I have video to go along with it now. And I use LED technology to illuminate myself. If you watch that, you see how crystal clear you can see. Is that why you look 10 years younger on your videos and I'm looking older on mine? What's going I, on? I found the fountain of youth was I use LED bulbs. i got to get the LED bulbs for when I do my... <laughs> i got to call a haste right now and get the order in because <laughs> the lighting is so important for the videos that it's like, um, yeah to illuminate yourself. Mm -hmm. And by the way, like you were saying, like your mom doesn't like the bright, the real super bright, you don't have to go that way. You, you, there's so many different styles. Um, you can still utilize the LED technology and get the, the, the light tone that you want, the strength that you want, uh, luminosity as we call it, and um, yeah, I mean the technology. And who would they go to at each? That would, that would not, they could be either do the showroom or right at the counter. If you have a question about what uh, LED bulb to buy, you can talk to Steve Pepper. I mean, that's actually who I talk to uh, when I wanted to buy some LED bulbs from us. Right. And he set me up with uh, what I was looking for. And if you're in the showroom, they could do the same thing. I mean, and I do have to ask you this, Steve, yeah. only because it has to, you know, me misinterrupt. But um, with your with your bulbs that you have, do you have them hooked up to your to a smart system? I don't, but you could. And that would be like I'm pulling in my house and I'm hitting my phone to turn my lights on or something to that effect, yeah, right? There are all kinds of uh, 
solutions out there. I mean, you know how it is. You can have everything hooked up. As a matter of fact, huh. we sell Navian tankless water heaters at Ace, right? Yes. And we also sell... Number one seller of, of the tankless for us is, is the Navian. Yeah, and we sell a really cool product that people love. It's the, uh, the Navian Wi-Fi adapter. You know? Yes. And it's a NaviLink, it's called, right? And people love it because they can adjust their water temperature. It's through an app, like everything, right? They can be at, at work and say, okay, well, I want my temperature and my water to be a little bit warmer today or a little bit cooler. And they can get their app on their phone and they can adjust their water heater temperature from the tankless unit from anywhere. NaviLink, available at Ace. And, and also Mowen. Mowen has it. Um, oh, don't get me started on that. Oh, because I, I think, oh, that. Mrs. Shazer, was that the oh, Christmas gift? I was goodness. just a kind of... It's <sighs> the Moen Flow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I know you love this. L-O. <laughs> if you are concerned about potential water damage in your home, and who in the heck isn't that owns a home? Every, no one wants any kind of a calamity with water. I got to tell you, another interruption. I'm glad you brought it up because I've got to tell you, I, right on my street, I've seen our plumbers, our contractors, I've seen more of our contractors working from home than I have when I'm working there. But anyway, um, situation, the woman that lives across the street from me, the pipe is leaking in the middle of the shower. Oh. So... You're right. If she had that mow and flow, she would have known that right away. There's so much damage because she didn't know it was dripping. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ex explain this. To please, you. please. It's an amazing product. Oh, you got a call. Oh, let's take the caller before we get into that. Yeah, yeah Michelle. Hello. Hey, caller. Good morning. My name's Bill. Um, I have a plumbing question. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, I've got a mow and faucet in my shower. And okay. The, the water pressure gradually decreased to where I had very little flow. Mm -hmm. so yesterday I went out and I bought a new cartridge. It's a 1225. And I put it in like four or five different times. And I have no water flow at all now. And I can't honestly say I can figure out what I did wrong. Have you, have you called Mowen? Uh, I looked at their website watch your videos and whatnot. Um, I mean, it's a simple thing. It's just a little, it goes in, you put the slots up, put the pin in, and it should work. But I get absolutely no water flow. Uh, I did uh, take it out and turn the water on just to make sure I had flow to the actual fixture. Right, and right. There's something wrong with the connection. There. No. No, I got plenty of water up to it because it squirted out all over the place when I turned the water on without the cartridge in. Sir, is your, is your pressure poor in other areas of the house? No, just that shower. Interesting. And before you yeah. put this in, your, your older one, did you have any problems? It started to slow, slow down. I had no pr very little pressure through it, which is why I changed, I changed the shower head first, and it didn't change anything. And then I changed the cartridge yesterday, and now i got no water flow through it at all. What kind of piping system do you have? Do you have copper pipes or PVC in the house? It's PVC. PVC, okay. Got that right. Yeah, it's a five-year-old house. Yeah, so, so... How old is it? Five years. Five years? Well, that's not old at all. No, not at all. So, uh, Chuck, you're a little more intelligent about these kind of things than I am, but for some reason it sounds like it's a smart, you know, a smart issue. It, it, you know, a lot of stuff today because of us being concerned about, and rightfully so, the environment, saving water, having these high-efficiency toilets... And they put aerators on, on faucets, which, you know, disperses the water in such a way so it makes you look like, you know, it's, it's on and they're getting a crazy amount of water, but there's still a lot of air inside of it to control water usage. I'm almost wondering if that has something like that in it. That and I don't know who, who, who he should really talk to at ACE because it would have to be Monday, you know, Monday, on Saturdays. Um, you could always bring it in if you want to detach it and bring it in. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Are you local, sir? No, I'm in Maryland, but we listen to you guys every week. Oh, awesome. we, we, Are you listening to 92? Nice, that's good, 92.1, cruising 92, all the way to Maryland. Yeah, Isn't that great? Vineland. Thanks for listening. We lived in Vineland for years. And we that, that's great. I'd love to hear that. And, and it and, sounds uh, like you've heard our show. We're only once a month, but it sounds like you've heard our show before, so I appreciate that. Um, we have. We listen to Bob and Steve every week, and... That's, that's awesome. I wish I was a plumber 
and I was right next to you because I feel like I could just walk in your house because I feel like it's something real simple, you know? I do too, but it's just, like it's I, something I like re- like something real simple, like 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 a button, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But um, Melvin, I, I would think that there's a customer service number on there. Yeah, or, I would absolutely do that first, sir. Is contact customer support, like try to get a person on the phone. They're usually pretty good okay. about that. Um, I had a call them not long ago, and and they were excellent. Uh, so I would I would look up their customer service line online, give them a shot there. If you're still having trouble, I would definitely. I have a local plumber come out. Chances are they won't charge you much money to check that out. That's true. Well, I feel like bad because now, now, now you can't well, use that shower. I was listening to you this morning and figured I'll give it a shot. It was a great topic for you. It was like perfect timing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for giving us a call, and uh, hopefully right. we helped you a little bit. We're not plumbers, but we do work for a plumbing <laughs> supply, East Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supply. So we give you the knowledge that we know. How's that? That works. Okay. Thank you very much. And have much. a beautiful day. Enjoy your day. Me too. Bye. Thank you so much. Now, that was interesting. You know, cause Excellent. Yeah. That was a great call because um, here we go now with the modern technology. Um, I, I don't know how old the gentleman was, but it sounds like he's in my age group and not yours, Chuck. And in saying that, um, we have difficulty with modern technology. You know, so it probably is something so small. I mean, there's so many times I've come to you, you know, I'm like, oh, Chuck. Well, it's hard to say. We don't know what the model was. And uh, we're not plumbers, you know. I had to make sure I, I didn't want to, you know, we're not plumbers. We just, we know about the products. And uh, since it was technology, you're so sharp, that's your, that's your thing. I mean, that's in your blood, you know, Chuck. So I figured, hey, um, you would have that answer yeah. for it. Like, you know, the aerators that are on these things. I mean, there could be something like that within that shower head, and it just needs to be adjusted. Now, the number one thing to do, folks, is always try to contact the manufacturer if you have trouble. Um, You know, a lot of these things you might not necessarily need a plumber for, but if you hit trouble um, and it's kind of, uh, if if you're working on it for a while, you're doing the research, you can't find anything, uh, especially with something like that, chances are the plumbers aren't going to charge that much to come out and check that out. So if, if, if all else fails, I would contact your local plumber, and they'll fix you right up with whatever, you know, the issue is. We'll get you on your way. It was so nice to get a call from Maryland. I mean, Wonderful, yeah. it just validates how, how far uh, cruising 92.1 actually goes. I mean, it goes further than that. But, um, and it's, um, I'm glad that this gentleman called and asked the question because it gets my mind moving. <laughs> Even more so, I'm like, hmm. Mm. Yes, yeah, great. We appreciate the calls from everywhere. It's so, great. It's so awesome. Nine, the cruise 92.1 WVLT, the reach is, is far and wide. And, um, you know, then we, had, we put our show on the Internet, so then that's limitless. You know. That's true, and I wanted to mention um, when Bill called, um, it just it leads into this, just a little segue for this, because uh, it is about plumbing. Uh, we have like a new little series that we started at Ace, and it is online. It's on the it's on the Ace's Facebook page, and it's also on my personal page, um, and it's just called Lunchbox Banter, and it's like 15 minutes. Um, I, I do this with Carol, who... Um, is a rep with the Yates company, um, and we um, actually have her for our A.O. Smith water heaters. Her and I talk about plumbing, anything plumbing. That's every week we do that on Thursdays. Now, coming up this week, we're going to take that, and we're going to have Dean, and we're going to, from Utica Boilers. And this way we could talk about boilers, furnaces, which, are, you know, what is it, boilers, furnaces, oil, or gas? I mean, so there's so much to cover. But I wanted Bill, if he was still listening, to know that we will have a plumbing uh, uh, questions and answers um, every week, every Thursday at noon, at lunchtime. And it's like 15, 20 minutes if he wants to join us online on mm-hmm. Facebook Live. Yeah, well, so, it's a nice little way to uh, conversate um, with the contractors in the community. You know, everything's virtual now, so mm-hmm. we had to get up on, you know, get up on the board with that a little bit. And um, so we're starting off slow, Chuck. You know what I mean? So it's a slow growth for this because um, I want I want to do it right. So right now we're going slow, but we're getting the information out to everybody. It's good for the community to hear the information so they could tell their contractor what they want. Well, nothing is, uh, very few things that are immediate, uh, especially when you're dealing with, um, you know, putting a show together that's internet bound. It doesn't matter where the show is, honestly. It's all about consistency, and, and um, you just keep, you keep putting the information out there. And, you know, as long as you keep doing that and putting out great content, you'll be fine. 
Now, um, I wanted to ask you a question, too. You said that you changed, you know, pretty much all your bulbs in the house to the LED. That wasn't a big expense for you, right? No. I mean, the LED, actually, one question I had for Steve Pepper was I wanted to make sure I didn't have to change the fixture to use the LED bulb. Ah. I didn't know, uh, quite honestly. And, you know, I, I wanted to ask him because he's a, a master with all things electrical, so... Uh, he told me no, it was fine. I didn't have to change, like in my basement, for example. I didn't have to change any fixtures to accept the LED. You literally just screw it in, and it, there it is. You know. So. Thank God, because I just screwed mine in. Mine's going in lamps. It's gone, not going up in a ceiling or anything like that. But I was waiting to hear that answer because I literally just put bulbs in. I just put them in, you know, and and then everything's fine. I have a short on one. That's why I'm wondering. I'm like, God, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. But follow the guidelines, and if you're not sure, call a professional. You know, like we're saying about the plumbing situation. Um, you know, that's, that's going to be your safest bet. And you know, all the stuff we talk about, whether it's plumbing, electrical, heating, uh, I always tell people, people love doing the DIY, right? Love it, love it, love it, love it. They love doing it. But when you deal with these situations with water, with electrical, with furnaces, for, for instance, or water heaters, get a professional out there. Um, that's my recommendation. It always is. You need it. You need that professional for that warranty. And you do that day in and day out. And like, excellent point. Warranties are not uh, generally acknowledged if you do something on your own. You uh, all day long. I mean, yeah. um, you want the warranty and you want it from your contractor. There are a lot of people. There's even, and I hate to say it like this, there's women that will install their own water heaters. That's great. That's wonderful that you know how to do that. I wish I did, though. But at the end of the day, now, all right, look at us. 10, 10, couple of 10, 10, 10, couple of 10. We have a 10-year warranty on A.O. Smith. Yeah. Now, uh, if, I, if I'm not a contractor, I'm not going to be buying that A.O. Smith. That's number one. You know what I mean? But literally, you know what I'm saying? I can't come off, off the street and go, hey, I want an A.O. Smith water heater. Well, if somebody got their hands on one and they put it in, the warranty wouldn't be valid. Right. Now, some people may go to a big box store and get one that is, and I've been through this a lot, you know, we have, we use copper, they use plastic on the, uh, on the important items <laughs> on a water heater that should be copper, not plastic. So, and I'm not here to say junk, but plastic is junk on a water heater. Is there a couple hundred dollar difference? <laughs> yeah, there is. Sure there is. Yes, you're going to save a couple hundred, but you're not going to get a 10-year warranty. And when you sit there and put it in yourself, you're not going to get any warranty. That's right. Period. I mean, you know what I mean? So Everyone wants to save money, but quite frankly, um, it's just some things you do not want to do that with. It's not worth it. It's not worth the the risk of your health and your well-being of your family. You know, if you don't ventilate something properly, for instance, it's totally, totally not worth it. Get a professional out to install these things. You'll have your warranty, and you'll have peace of mind knowing that it was done professionally and safely. You're just so good at this, Chuck, aren't you? You're so good at keeping our customers safe. <laughs> we have to keep them safe. And, and Ace has been doing a great job uh, keeping everyone safe oh, through the COVID, no. so I just wanted to put a shout out there for that. We, we, got, uh, we were talking about the Mo and Flow. Yes. Now, what an amazing thing this is. Mo and Flo. Wait a minute. Did you ever, I, I got to back this up. Yeah. I, this is for when Mrs. Shazer gets to listen to this. I think he wants one for Christmas. <laughs> He's been talking about it since last year. <laughs> that was awesome. I mean, imagine this, folks. You are on vacation, and we all have, you know, in the modern day, in our modern, modern societies that are out there, including ours, we have, we'll have running, running water in the house, right, which is awesome. With running water in your house, there's always a risk that something may happen. That's right. Look at the. I'm telling you, her, her pipe was leaking for so long behind the shower, she never knew it. So guess what, folks? There is a solution that the, the fine people at Moen came up with. There are indeed. They developed something amazing. It's called the Moen Flow. <laughs> it's an adapter. It's, you can access it with your phone, of course. There's an app for it. And what it does is if it detects, first of all, when you install it, it measures your water usage, your everyday water usage, right? So it records that. Why? So it has something to compare it to. So if there is the smallest leak, and it could be from a leaky faucet, by the way, 
any kind of leak, any kind of change in water usage, as minute as it may be, the mower flow will detect that, send an alert to your phone. Now you know, okay, there's a leak somewhere. It you, makes you aware of it. And in a calamity, if you're on vacation and a pipe bursts or, God forbid, something like that happens where there's le- like major leakage of some kind from a pipe, it shuts it off automatically. It does. It, it, it and detects a major burst of, of water usage out of nowhere. But, it will but shut your water off. I got to say this again because not a lot of people are, are going on vacation. I got to keep going back to. And in fact, I have to bring my mother up in this one. My mother uh, bought a condo, and within six months to a year of that condo, there was a leak. Okay. They didn't know where the leak was at. And I, I wish I could say who saved the day on the air because everybody knows who the company is, you know, but I can't because we, we do things fair at East, you know what I mean? But there was uh, uh, one company <laughs> that happened to have the proper tool. Here's the thing, that there also leaked for a long time. So the damage that it does, we don't have to be on vacation for damage to happen. Absolutely not. You know, and I just wanted to, like, keep bringing that up because I noticed that a lot of people, they might not be taking a lot of vacations. I'm not sure but um and, mean, I mean, and how much is eventually i mean you know do you know around about how much that runs around about they're around uh the retail price is like 4.99 i mean it's listen it's a great when gift you, people are wondering what to get i know i'm interrupting but because i get excited because christmas is coming and instead of and you know it was oh i got to order online and not really you know not for nothing you could get a 500 hundred dollar gift card at Ace, because the gift cards are starting, I think, next week. Get the, the five and, and let them go get their own Mowin. Absolutely. Or let them get what they want, or buy them the Mowin. They have tools. You can put it towards something in the showroom. Let's say you want a new light, lighting fixture. And we have, the, I mean, just from fancy to practical at, in the showroom, right? It's unbelievable. It's elegant he, to practical, everything in between. When you need retail therapy, <laughs> the, for women, the best place to go is Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies on South Delsey Drive. Go right in that showroom, and I go, where's the lighting room, my favorite? Mm-hmm. Where's the, that area, the Sean Beck area? Go sit in there, and you will feel, ooh, like a million dollars, and you'll look like a million dollars, too. Yeah, and if you're, if you're in the Vineland area, it's 667 South Delsey Drive in Vineland, across the street from Stewart's Root Beer Stand, right next door to Habitat. Uh, for humanity, and you got to have an appointment to see the showroom. So just give them a call at 856-692-9374. That's for the Violin showroom to make an appointment. If you're at the shore near Summers Point, you're going to want to call 609-646-2900, and they're located at 720 New Road in Summers Point. Um, Amazing products in both locations. And we're just telling you that so you can put a little light on the subject. And the subject, oh, like <laughs> the subject is your house, is your space. And we're here just to tell you how to ace your space, that's all. Um, Everything that Ace has has to do with the world. So, you know, whether it's essential, whether it's decor. um, Also, I wanted to bring up something else. The ADD is kicking in again, because I guess I said Christmas. You know, we sell... We sell sell the gloves, we sell the masks, we sell the um, sanitizer. Mm-hmm. So you can make a little package, a little emergency package, like the fall package, like they're already threatening us how, you know, things are going to rise right now, the winter's coming. Have, give that as a gift. I mean, what could it cost? Ten, twelve, fifteen dollars $15? You, you get the latex gloves, you put the, you know, the, K, the KN95 in there, put a couple masks in there, and put it like in a little zipper thing, boom, you got a nice gift. Oh, and by the way, we have awesome hand sanitizer. I know. Really great stuff. It's it's strong. It's really good. I mean, a little bit goes a long way. It's it's uh, it's it's a ama- it's an amazing formula that they have there at Ace, and uh, so you can get that there as well with your mask and your gloves. And you know, I have the non-sterile solution from Ace, the hand sanitizer. This here was uh, this is a big bottle. This here is eight ounces, and it was uh, less than eight dollars. Mm-hmm. You know, they're charging so much money. This is uh, alcohol and septic, so, you know, I get a little boo-boo. I'm, I'm in. I got it right here. <laughs> I got it. My hands are clean. I get a little cut. Hey, <laughs> you just can't drink it. Can't drink it because it says alcohol. You cannot drink it, you know. <laughs> 
But uh, also, Ace, you know, it is fall and everybody's changing. Well, if they're not, when you start changing your clock, let's get those filters changed too, huh? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Especially right now. Oh, and guess what else you can get? Oh, my gosh. It's killing yeah. time. Because <laughs> this is important as well. This is important as well. Uh, not only have the filters, if you need those, a filter for your, your furniture. If you have, you know, a forced air in your house, you want to make sure you have clean filters in there, of course. And also, you want to make sure you change your batteries in your smoke detector. Yes. As well. And make sure your smoke detector works. I mean, mm-hmm. make sure all your detectors work. And uh, carbon we, monoxide, another huge, hugely important huge. item to have. Yeah. We, we lost a, a, a good friend last year, a, an ace friend. Um, somebody that I knew way before I even entered the ace world, you know. Um, and they say that's what it was from. That's a silent killer. I mean, It's a silent killer. But, you know, listen, let God take me that way. That's okay. If I don't wake up, I'm okay as long as I'm still dreaming. You know what I mean? But in saying that, you have to get it done. I mean, it's, it's, it's real easy to remember if you do it with the time change. Now, some people may be listening and they'll say, what? What, what is the carbon monoxide detector? Why the heck do I need something? Like that? So you're going to call Chuck at Ace on Monday, and he's going to tell you what it is. Whenever you have, when you, we burn gas for heat, right? We burn fuel, we burn oil, we burn uh, natural gas, propane. Whenever you have a combustion where a fuel is, is meeting a spark and you're, you're getting that ignition, you have burn off, you have exhaust, you have a byproduct, it's carbon monoxide, it's odorless. So if you have a problem where that, that, Exhaust is not escaping the house, okay? If, if you have, there's a leak in your exhaust system, a ventilation system that goes outside to get that stuff out, even from a water heater. Unless you have an electric water heater, you have that combustion happening, whether it's with oil or natural gas or propane. So you want to get that byproduct outside. Now, if there's a leak of some kind, carbon monoxide can get in your home. So that's where the carbon monoxide detectors come in. They will go off. And they can save your life. They do, and they've saved a lot of lives. They really have. Mm-hmm. Very important. You know, you you were talking about Moen a lot, and I just I forgot. I wanted to mention um, Moen. I think that Moen was the first company that invented the uh, the single hand faucet, like the very first one. Mm-hmm. Um, where you know, in my time before that came out, was the two round plastic knobs. <laughs> and it was like back, and and, his, and uh, Mr. Moen was Al Moen back in '39. Back in '39 is when they came out with it. Look how advanced. The reason I brought that up. Look how advanced now. Now you're not even touching the handle. If you go into the showroom, if you make an appointment for the Violent Showroom, for instance, I know for a fact in the Violent Showroom. Can't speak for the Summer's Point one because I don't know. But in the Violent Showroom, we have one on display. It's called the Moen Motion Sense. If you just wave your hand over this thing it turns on now you can tap it also like with your elbow if you wanted right you just wave your hand over it and the the actually will come on water will flow out of it for the kitchen great stuff it, it is it's great stuff and and uh, you know we're used to the uh touchless because from the time i arrived at ace everything was touchless uh, faucets and I, I would walk by one day and oh what's that oh the faucet just came on <laughs> because yeah, I had my hand too close to it you know one by the coffee maker <laughs> that's the one in the counter area yeah that's actually hooked up and you can literally try it if you want I mean it's right there you could just walk in the counter area try it wave your hand under it's 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 so good especially when you have kids I mean mm-hmm. it's good period because they're they're it's so known about washing hands I mean it's so so known to wash your hands. Let's face it, for anything in life, you know, we, everything we touch is dirty. Um, one, thing, one byproduct of the coronavirus is the, I would say, people uh, coming to terms with how important that is. As a matter of fact, I, I think there's a lot of people that probably said, yeah, yeah, you know, you need some germs in your life. Why wash your hands so much? But this, there's many things we learned from this coronavirus situation, and one is how important it is to. Keep your hands clean. It's a very basic thing, but it, there's you, you cannot put a price on how important that is. When you're coming in, you know, when you're when you're coming in, I don't know, from your lunch break, you should be washing your hands before you get back to your desk. You know, when you're coming in from shopping, 
um, you're shopping. And as soon as I get in the car, the only thing I do is I go grocery shopping, ooh, and I get to pick up medication once a month at the drugstore. That's my big outings, okay? But as soon as I get done, I have the sanitation in the car. You do that. You, as soon as I get home, I wash my hands. Um, I, I mean, I'm just, I've always been a person that washed their hands a lot. Um, and I've been home, what, six and a half months, I think, working from home. I haven't had, I don't want to say it because tomorrow, but I haven't had a cold or a headache since then because I'm not around anybody in the public. Mm-hmm. I'm not around anybody. You know what I mean? So, to, and all my life I was out in the public, you know, so you get a cold, even though you're washing your hands. Oh, when you were selling advertising, you were all over the place. All over the place. Absolutely. In and out, in and out. You go in, you use their bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I was at your house, too. You came in like a whirlwind. <laughs> no. flying all over the place. <laughs> she didn't even say good morning to me, folks. She just busted in my office. There's papers flying around, scribbles on stuff. Here, I need this done, and gone. She's gone. This is a, that's so how Chuck and I done? met many There's years ago. tomato in here. <laughs> and um, so, so part of my uh, uh, decision uh, to come to ACE, you know, when, when we were uh, negotiating, was that Chuck Shazer works there. And I had worked with Chuck Pryor, and I knew for sure that I would be working, well, I was hopeful that I would be working with him again. And it actually turned out to be that we are. I mean... And, and so much more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we did the advertising together for Ace. Yeah, we put the ads together. But now we, we just do so much more together because we have a leader that lets us take our skills and, and use them. So, yeah, so we're blessed. When you're creative, uh, when you're the creative type, it's, it's the benefit of the, of the company. Uh, I would do the same thing if I were running. I do run a small company, but if I were to hire somebody like me, for instance, I would give them a lot of free reign because that's a creative process, you know. That's yeah, that's true, and and give them the tools they need. So, you know, you need certain tools with marketing. So, I got to tell you, I'm a little nervous because my uh, my favorite little Microsoft tablet that you see me with for a million times, it's been flickering with the light. I'm like, oh, it's getting ready to go. The tablets flickering. Oh, it's, but it's my computer. It's, it's a it's a Microsoft computer tablet. So is the screen flickering or is there yeah. Yeah, I could, yeah. So I'm like, well, maybe I'm streaming too much on it. I don't know, but I'll be at Best Buy sometime this week because uh, I can't afford it to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So How old is it? um, it's only five years old. That's not bad. It's only five years old. Do you have a protection plan on it? Um, not anymore. Not anymore. I uh, I paid a lot of money for it way back. I bought it when I had opened up my small business. And for the first year, I really didn't use it a lot. When I got to Ace, I used it a lot because I walk all over the place there, you know. So it was convenient for me to have that. Um, you know, but it is what it is. And uh, there are some new ones out there. And I, we need good ones for marketing um, so we could stream. And, you know, I do a lot of research. You know, I'm always on... Always, oh, sure. You know, I was always complaining about the internet, the speed, and. <laughs> well, you know, whenever there's, you know, in my world, as you know, um, you know, my, the tools that I use as an artist, you know, I have plenty of of uh, Bristol board and and uh, Indian ink and and, uh, and pens that I use when I do uh, my own personal uh, traditional work, uh, which is uh, like an illustration. Um, I have all those tools when it comes to. The digital world, you need tools as well for that. So it's always important to have up-to-date technology. And, you know, as things improve, uh, you got to keep up with that. So uh, that's one of the... you always have to keep in mind. And it's and it's it's forever changing. I mean, now that I'm so absorbed in it, compared to, you know, when it's sold advertising, um, it is marketing because you market. Yeah, I'm always going to market who I, you know, wh- where I work because I'm always going to market me. It's just natural. Like, oh, this is what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Oh, I do this, you know. So, uh, of course, I'm going to retire at Ace, so I'm always going to market Ace. It's, uh, when you're in sales, you're always marketing. It's just natural to do that, especially if you believe in the product and where you work. It's when just you, natural. Well, it's like when you ask me about the Moen flow, my brain lights up. <laughs> if you ask me about the Sean Beck lighting, my brain lights up. This isn't a sales pitch. It's I, these are awesome products. These, uh, right, and, and you know it. You've touched them. You felt it. You spoke to the rep. You, you know it just because you, you, you got your hands right in it. My favorite phrase, your hands are right in it. And, and so are mine. I would have never have known that, that Sean Beck is actually affordable. You know, when I first saw those lights, I was like, oh, I'll never be able to afford one of these. But, you know, okay, so you see a light that's 
maybe eight hundred dollars. You also see a light that's maybe three thousand mm-hmm. dollars. You might also see one that's one hundred and fifty. So in saying that. Oh, the, yeah. They're affordable. They're, they're nothing to be scared of. I was scared when I first saw the beauty. I think, I think today there's probably a lot of people that are intimidated when they hear the word chandelier. Um, intimidated financially. Um, yes. There's really no reason to be because there are so many. The variety is, is, is so incredible. The variety in style, the, and the variety with, with whatever budget you have. I mean, and they are made, they're like made to order. It's incredible. How many things today can you say aren't mass produced and are like made to order? That's one product that is when you purchase a Sean Beck chandelier, it's like a piece of artwork that an independent artist made. Where it's like this isn't a mass produced item. They have those crystals. It's like a fairly uh, family heirloom. You can pass these things down too, and they're timeless. It's really incredible. I think you'd want to pass it down because, um, like, it, it, you know, there's certain things that you grow up with in your life, and then when you become an adult, you remember them. So when you see them, it brings back that warm memory. So I think the lighting, the Sean Beck lighting, yeah, the chandelier that I see hanging in the house that's the 55 and older, yeah, that would bring back some really good memories. <laughs> if I could buy that house because it already has the light in there, you know. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to be um, asked to end soon. So I, before we do that. This hour went fast. Well, I, I never know when the hour is really going to be done because I never know what's in front of us, uh, what's in front of uh, 92.1. I, I never know what's next. You know I what know I mean? We have the country store coming up. Right? They, the they do. It's a great show. Yep. It's always a great show. So I just wanted to, to thank everybody because it is our 29th show. Our 30th show will be or 30th hour, rather, will be next month. It'll be November 28th. Ooh, I go, ooh, November 28th. November 28th. <laughs> October 28th. I'm like, ooh, we're going out for Halloween. <laughs> oh, by the way, let me just mention this. We're talking about uh, November, right? Thanksgiving's around the co- corner. Uh, if you need a garbage disposal, if you need a replacement, you've been waiting for a long time. You're like, I don't want to, I'm tired. I don't want to mess with this thing. Now's the time. Ace Plumbing Heat Electrical Supplies we sell in Sinkerator, Garbage disposals, there's different uh, horsepower ones, like a quarter, um, three-quarter horsepower. Uh, we have different um, power, you know, the power uh, varies between them, and as does the price, as you would imagine, like the more powerful that you get, uh, the more expensive they be- can become. But they're not very expensive in general, and we have them at Ace, and that's a great product. And, and you know what? Thank you, Norm. And you know what? That's just another great gift. I mean, we are Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies. We have supplies for you, but we have so much more. I am Michelle chatterchick Low with Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies, and you are? Chuck Chaser. And we want to thank everybody. And we'll see you next, next month. We'll be on here next month. Wish yeah, everybody a beautiful Saturday. And make sure you stop in the Ace and let them know that you heard us on 92.1. Ace your space. On Cruise in 92.1 WVLT. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Hi, folks. This is Michelle Chatterchick Lowe from Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies. Join me and my co-host, Chuck Shazer, from 11 a.m. to 12 noon and every fourth Saturday of the month while we try to ace your space. We're going to share with you some helpful hints that will improve the quality of any room or project that you are currently working on. Also, we're going to have just a little bit of fun. Join me for Ace Your Space, coming to you from Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies.